What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we got a lot to talk about. Not only did we receive a new surprise update, apparently COD 2024 could be free for millions of players and we got a new update to changes that the CDL is going to be doing. A lot to talk about in terms of Call of Duty. If you find this video helpful or informative, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. A quick reminder, I did post a video yesterday going over the massive season three reloaded update that is set to arrive in under two weeks. If you want all the details on that, the brand new operators coming in, the new content and everything else, I have that video linked down in the description. I've also been uploading very actively on my Warzone page. If you guys want to know about the meta loadouts, the best class setups that you should be using. I also covered just yesterday there's a Morse build loadout that actually allows you to shoot through every single building in the entire game and I'll show you guys the loadout and some examples of that but anyways let's go ahead let's get into it brand new update went live earlier at 10 a.m pacific standard time this brought in changes and patch notes to both multiplayer and warzone and here's what they are for multiplayer they did a UI update maps widget in the quick play menu can now be scrolled to view all entries the more sniper rifle will now display the correct icon in the kill feed Emblems unlocked in MW2 will now be stated as such in the customization menu. Address various issues causing certain stats to not be tracked on the scoreboard. Resolved an issue causing the score to appear as 0-0 during the round transition. Editing a loadout during a match will no longer cause the player to be given an incorrect loadout. They also did progression updates. Executing a player with the soul render will no longer grant more XP than a standard finishing move. Resolved an issue preventing the winner's perk challenge from tracking progress. Weapons and attachments, the AR, the MTZ556 increased bullet velocity from 650 to 690. The Holger 556 adjusted recoil and gun kick to decrease deviation, allowing a more predictable pattern. The M16 actually got a silent buff a while ago. It says decrease horizontal and vertical recoil by 20%. Decrease gun kick by 20%, decrease visual recoil by 18%, but they were actually done in the previous update, they just didn't mention it. And then the SMGs, the Ram 9, decreased minimum and maximum hip fire accuracy by 10%, increased aim down sight time from 200 to 220, and then the Striker 9 removed the ability to aim down sights while sliding without tactical equipped. The Striker decreased aim down sight time from 215 to 204, increased bullet velocity from 540 to 570. And for the WSP Swarm, they slightly decreased the flinch resistance. For the shotguns, the Haymaker Jack Maglev kit, they got a small nerf, decreased the damage pellet count from 5 to 4, decreased near medium damage from 20 to 19, decreased near medium damage range to 6.4. And then for the more sniper rifle, corrected an optic misalignment, causing shots to travel slightly off center. And for the attachments, the Moore's Hexer optic removed ADS speed benefit and for the second attachment the ECS they added compatibility with MW2 SMGs for the equipments the EMD grenade tactical tracking device will now ignore enemies who are down and down players will now must stand before removing the tracking device frag grenade lethal increase intermediate explosive damage and decrease intermediate explosive damage radius for the kill streaks the remote turn players will no longer be forcibly swapped to their primary weapon upon destruction of an own turn for MW3 range play, limited time weapon evaluation, Treyarch and Sledgehammer games, they said they're going to be adding these until April 23rd, and that's going to be the BP-50, the Holger 556, the MTZ 556, for the SMGs, the HRM9, and the Ram9, and these are going to be put in the pool until the 23rd, they will be removed, and then they did a couple of bug fixes, but you can see these changes right here on the screen. Now, they did a Warzone update as well, and then the first one was for the lethal equipment C4s, have reverted the update that previously prevented C4s from being being detonated mid-flight and then the frag grenade decreased intermediate explosive damage radius to 3.8 down from 4.9 for the weapon balance changes the mtz 556 increased bullet velocity same thing as mw2 the holger 556 adjusted recoil and gun kick to decrease deviation allowing a more predictable pattern the m16 that little silent buff that we talked about earlier decreased horizontal and vertical recoil decreased the gun kick and decreased visual recoil and for the smgs the ram 9 decreased minimum and maximum hip fire accuracy by 10 percent increase aim down sight time to 220 up from 200 and then for the striker decrease aim down sight time to 204 down from 215 increase bullet velocity to 570 from 540 for the wsp storm decrease flinch resistance to 0.15 down from 0.8 and for the sniper the moors corrected an optic misalignment causing shots to travel slightly off center so no big nerfs no big buffs honestly nothing really happened that will change the meta in this update i'm expecting all that to happen with the reloaded update that happens in two weeks but the next thing that we have are a couple of bug fixes along with the attachment changes that they did which are pretty much very similar to the ones with mw2 except for the bug fixes but anyways let's go on to the next topic and that is the new store update that we have we got three different brand new operators that were added into the store the 
first one is the Coney Empress, which brings in a new skin for Warden, costing 1,800 COD points. Along with that, there's two different weapon blueprints. The first one is called the Petal Fall, which comes in for the DG-56. The second weapon blueprint is called the Revenge, which comes in for the Attack Eradicator. No trace around or effects right here. And then you also have a large decal called the Madam Moon, a brand new weapon sticker called the Mirror Image, and a weapon charm called the Shamisen. We also got another bundle. This comes in for Makarov called the Urban Makarov. This is what he will look like. This one costs 1,600 COD points. Will feature two different weapon blueprints, no tracer rounds. The first one is called the Duelist, which comes in for the Vaznev 9K. So I guess they're doing MW2 weapons now. And then the second one is for the KVD Enforcer, and that's called the Tetsubo. And then you got other different things like a large decal called the Unmask, a brand new weapon sticker called the Pearly Whites, and then a new weapon charm called the grinning devil now the thing is if you end up getting both of these bundles there's actually a coney collection reward and that is going to be bringing in the precision execution operator skin for nolan which is basically it looks exactly like that pre-order benefit skin that we ended up seeing with the launch of mw3 it's the same exact thing just this one is going to be for nolan rather than it was for soap but this is what it looks like it's going to cost you a total of 3400 if you want to end up getting this one the next thing i wanted to talk about are the new weekly challenges that will be available these don't go live until wednesday Wednesday morning, but we got an early look thanks to Reality Leaks, and he posted saying that there's going to be a new Jack Cutthroat attachment that's going to be available for you to unlock, and this is what it looks like. There's going to be multiplayer zombie and battle royale challenges. I'll have screenshots of all three of these modes, so multiplayer, these are the following challenges. You'll need to just do five out of the seven that are available. We also got battle royale if you'd rather do it there, and then finally, we also have the version for zombies, and these are all going to be going live starting tomorrow at around 9 to 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and you'll be able to complete these weekly challenges and then we also will have week four which will be the last set of weekly challenges before we get into the mid-season update and that will be updated to showcase exactly what the rewards and the items for that is going to be and then once you complete all eight weeks you'll be able to unlock this brand new allegiances weapon camo which will be fully animated and universal for all weapons going on to the next topic it looks like activision is going to be doing a massive change to the call of duty league and they said right here activision says that all 12 call of duty league teams will receive any of the 27 million dollar entry fee payment they made to Activision back and no longer required to pay the remaining fee to stay in the league. And here's what it says. Outstanding entry fees will be eliminated. Any fees previously collected from the teams will be returned in full. While we paused collection of these payments years ago, we are permanently removing this obligation while also injecting capital back into the league. And then they say Toronto Ultra's ownership group announces that Activision's new agreement with CDL teams removes their $25.1 million entry fee and that the team is receiving a one-time $2 million payment as part of the newly restructured Call of Duty league and as you can see here they put just a list of the requirements and the things that they plan on doing i believe they also guarantee two years of revenue for these teams so it looks like cdl is here to stay with a lot of these changes that they are making there was a big lawsuit with scump and heck suing activision as a whole over the call of duty league and right now it's still in arbitration so we're not entirely sure if that is a result from that lawsuit or what's going on with that regardless it looks like these changes are coming in for the better and this could mean some really good news apparently COD 2024 might end up becoming free for millions of players and apparently this is according to a blog post over by video gamers with the launch of call of duty 2024 which is going to be black ops go for later this year we know that call of duty pretty much or activision ended up getting bought out by microsoft and one of the biggest things that people have been waiting for is for the call of duty titles to get added to the xbox game pass now call of duty hasn't mentioned anything officially but phil spencer the ceo of microsoft gaming did mention that they plan on releasing call of duty games on xbox game pass day one and one thing is apparently this upcoming June, Xbox has a huge announcement to make in regards to the Game Pass and one of the rumors is that they are going to be introducing Call of Duty into it. Right now they've sort of held off on it and they've been bringing in games that are Activision owned like for example Diablo was added but none of the Call of Duty titles not even the older ones were added. We saw multiple game updates that they did with like Black Ops 2, Cold War, some older titles. It looked like they were preparing the servers for them to add them back into the game but at the moment they haven't announced anything. It looks like this this announcement is going to be saved for June. More than likely by then we'll get an answer, but if they do start introducing Call of Duty games into the Game Pass, you can also expect that Black Ops Gulf War could be among these titles. Phil Spencer did say this, and I quote, our intent is the full portfolio of games from ZeniMax, Activision Blizzard, and Xbox Game Studios, 
will be on Game Pass day one. And with that game releasing later this year, if they do the announcement before, probably going to end up being on day one. But we'll have more information once we get closer to that. As an Xbox player, how do you feel? Do you think that this is a good idea? Something that you guys deserve after the years of PlayStation exclusivity, them getting access to DLC early, them getting free combat packs, getting extra double XP days. What are your thoughts and opinions on this? But anyways, that is all that I got for you guys in today's video. If you found it informative or helpful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. But it's been your boy Chidzo, and hopefully I'll be seeing you guys again. Peace.